Hello, my name is Jonas. I would like to review one of our Metallurgical Microscopes BMU500 DIC in this video. Let's begin. This microscope has two light sources. Both are 100 watt halogen. The one at the bottom is for transmitted light and this is normally used for transparent samples. The one at top which is for reflection light and this is used for mainly non-transparent samples or opaque samples. Imaging capabilities. With this microscope you can collect images at different mode. Bright field, dark field, polarization and DIC Nomarski imaging. As an optional, you can also add fluorescence imaging, polarization for transmitted light, and also dark field imaging for transmitted light. This microscope by default has five lenses, 5x, 10x, 20x, 50x, and 100x. All lenses are bright field, dark field, polarization, and also DIC imaging. You can add several objective lenses to this microscope, which is infinity corrected optical system. As I said, this microscope has from 5x to 100x. At low end, you can add 1.25x, 2x, 2.5x, 4x or another 5x objective lenses. At middle range you can add long or short working distance objective lenses of 10x, 20x, 25x, 40x, 50x, 60x, 80x and 100x. Starting from 40x up to 100x you can have dry, water or oil immersion lenses. If you like to extend the magnification you can use 150x objective lens, 200x, 250x, 300x and even 500x objective lens. This microscope has a trinocular viewing head. We offer several Simon adapters. This can be at different magnifications, starting from 0.37x up to 1x, which are normally 0.37x, 0.5x, 0.75x, with fixed or adjustable focus. This microscope has a double layer mechanical XY stage. You can move the sample in X and Y direction, horizontally or vertically, at maximum 74 by 50 millimeter. The maximum height of a sample you can visualize with this microscope is 50 millimeter or 2 inches. This microscope comes with a swing out condenser with the numerical aperture of 0.9. You can turn on each light source separately for the reflected light or transmitted light. With this microscope you get color filters and also neutral density filters of ND6 and ND25. You can use one or two filter for the reflected light. So in this part of the video I would like to show you a couple of sample images we can collect with this microscope. Basically I start with the bright field and right now we have 5x objective lens in action. So I switch to 10x. You will see this image. And we go to 20x objective lens. And next is 50x. If you like to readjust the focus, you might need to re retune it a little bit. And 100x, since the sample is a little bit thick, so all of them will not be at the same time in the focus. This is a bright field. Okay. 
So in this part of the video I would like to show you the image quality of this microscope in reflected mode for bright field imaging. And as you, uh, you can see the light at the top is on by using this switch and 5x objective lens is in action. I, I'm using uh, one of our filters which is light balance uh, neutral density uh, filter. And you, you see the 5x objective lens uh, in the monitor. I switch to 10x. We adjust the focus a little bit. And the sample I'm using here, it's, it, it is uh, a $2 a coin. I switch to 20x. Need to readjust the focus, but obviously uh, uh, we don't expect to see all of the samples in focus because the sample is not uh, fully flat and it has some bumps or damages on the surface and you can see this very well and currently uh, we, we see the images at 50x objective lens and I switch to 100x and we adjust the focus and again depending on the uh, location of the stage the height, we can see uh, some part of the sample in focus.